Hey guys, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Collier Simulator Adventure Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and we are doing quite badly right now. We have a series of issues. Last episode, the whole world just fell apart around us, and unfortunately, I don't mean it literally fractured and splintered into millions of pieces. Indeed, we had a whole bunch of other issues, mainly revolving around uh, power. So you can see that we have a uh, gas generator now producing away but only producing to itself also producing a whole bunch of side products here of waste products that we need to deal with so i'm going to take a few moments at this point of the game trying to sort these out uh, the main thing that i want to do is get this section down here done and of course getting the power line in place very important it turns out that the duplicates much more interested in getting some sleep. Oh, look, we have a printing plot ready. Uh, I will be looking to have some more duplicates enter in. We're looking for a doctor and we're looking for a uh, for a chef. These two, unfortunately, fulfilling neither of those. But some dirt or some Murphy. You know what? I think I think we could do with some more dirt. I, we, it's not something that we are like seriously in need of, but it's something that will probably at some point pay dividends to have. Work on the power line, at least this vertical power line has been going well, but down here we seem to be suffering a little bit from the lack of oxygen. People keep having to uh, dive over this way and grab themselves a breath or two. It's like super inefficient work, but I suppose if this is what the duplicates need, this is what the duplicates are going to get. I'm wondering where Miss Aligned is during all of this, because of course she should be majorly on most of the digging. Is that her over there? There we go. Yeah, what, what, what are you doing? Get, get back to work. Something I do want to point out, you can see that we're getting a nice little collection of polluted water down here, but as the germ overlay says, it's clean. It, it's, it's actually clean, so that's why this pipe here will be going to one of our main areas. After a little detour through some other water to try and get rid of some of its heat, because of course we don't want to be pumping in, oh let's have a look, 43 degree water there. No, no, I don't think we want to be doing that at all. See, ideally, we'd just slap this down like this here, but I'm wondering whether, like, the water is going to be enough to take away the heat. I never understand why Miss Align works herself till she's starving. It always gives me a little boop boop, and then she has a, a, a thing over her head. Look at that, she's less than a thousand calories. I mean, that's that's a problem, right? It's because she's a bottomless stomacher. Okay, that makes sense. Look, there we go. Again, Miss Align. I know, I know, but you're going to be all right. It's going to be fine. We've got the teamwork making the dream work down in the actual base. Lunacop running around and delivering all the little bits of aluminium ore that we need. And then we've got Mad Frank. And it was just Mad Frank, but Forrest coming along to steal some of the glory whilst we're talking about it. Go along and filling up stuff. Build it. Build, building wire. Stuff is always such a bad word. We're working towards uh, more and more automation, but you know what I think might be a little bit more useful for us? I think we need to get these exosuits on the go. Maybe, just maybe we can get some more of the work down here done if we get them done. And that will just be something that we uh, tick over in the background. We'll put a little suit forge up here on like priority five or something like that. And if the exosuits get built before these guys manage to get the wiring done, uh, then we will get that up and running. Okay, I think we've got a little bit of an issue here of there being too many hatches in the room. Uh, we've got people being a little bit glum, and I don't like that. So we're going to start turning over all the hatch sage eggs and the hatchling eggs that we can find. Uh, and then eventually, at some point, things should work out well that we uh, we end up with some meat and stuff like that. Well, it won't be meat, will it? We'll end up with a bunch of fried eggs to turn into stuff. And eventually, when these guys get too old, we'll be able to uh, deal with that. As we can see, the age is too out of 100. So we, we got many cycles, many cycles to uh, to wait here. At some point, we're going to run out of oxygen in this little space here. Maybe we should put uh, some ladders going up and really consume all the area. Maybe. We're having a little bit of trouble here with people trying to be able to connect all the wires across. Obviously, we've got a bit of an airflow tile issue here. So what I'm going to do is go through and select uh, odd, odd ones, uh, every other one, so that uh, the duplicates can come along and hop from one to the other and hopefully get the whole thing finished. With Line coming along and eating through the dirt here, that should also speed up the situation immensely, hopefully. Fingers crossed. I'm actually surprised they're still finding gases to breathe around. There are little bits, and obviously the uh, the oxy fern down here is doing their best. But of course, all the ones that have got this little symbol over are swamped out with natural gas rather than carbon dioxide. Which you know, look, there's three of them. 
They're all surviving off of this tiny little wisp that may or may not have been there. I'm, all, I'm surprised that the uh, devs allow this to continue, actually, where they can just go along, find the tiniest wisp of oxygen, and all completely fill up their bars from that. Uh, it's, I understand why, because otherwise they'd spend forever going around going, is this enough? Is that enough? I don't know. But uh, yeah, it just seems like really exploity. What, what if I had an entire base that was all just... Uh, carbon dioxide filled, but you only let out tiny little dribs of oxygen here and there. Obviously in the main w uh, walk path of where the duplicates can get to, but then uh, the, the whole colony could be surviving off, I don't know, a tenth of the oxygen that it should be? Yeah, I mean that, wh why, why is that not a thing? Maybe that's something we can experiment with. You know what? It really seems like they prefer the outhouses. Let's have a look what's going to happen. All right, Forrest goes into the toilet. But yeah, it, it really seems like that. It takes quite a bit of persuasion to get them into the nice sanitary toilets. So uh, persuade I will. Let's deconstruct this toilet. Okay, Mad Frank taking care of the important stuff there. Let's slam down this lavatory and put some pipes in place. Will Luna and Forrest finally be the guys to lead us from the darkness out of the depths of this blackout that we have been uh, suffering from here? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, well, they, they just came along and they did their part in it, you know. But here comes Decipher and Mad Frank, and I think they have actually finally made the full connection across. We can see that there is still power flowing from here. The power flows through all of this. It goes yellow every now and then, but that's only when it's strained. Yellow is safe, 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 safe. Oh, look, everything's working over here. I'm a little bit worried about these thin bits of wire, but we can go through and replace those, I am sure. Mm -mm -mm. And with that tasty, tasty oxygen starting to flow again, we should be able to start pushing out some of this uh, natural gas that we have picked up here. I might even dig a little trap down here and then pump it back through, uh, I don't know, the same gas system we've got over here and see what happens with that. I think that would be uh, quite a nice little tidy up for the base, get rid of all the uh, really nasty gases. Of course, in the no, really, this is important category, we have the whole cleanup system from the waste products of the natural gas. So that that is really what we need to concentrate on here. I'm also going to go as far as go to the utilities, thermo aqua tuna. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. I'm going to throw that in there. We're going to send this nice little tube up this way. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's the wrong way around. Can we turn it around? Can it actually turn around? Most things have the ability to... Oh, okay, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, I'm glad that I spied that before I connected them up the wrong way and was like, oh no. Oh, new prints available. Let's see what we got here. We have got uh, farmer digging supplying, farming suit wearing digging. None of these are what I want. Balm lily seeds, though. I'll take those. Thanks. Getting quite a, quite a collection of stuff here. Mmm, I'm being told there's a food shortage, and this almost definitely is down to the fact that these guys are having some serious troubles down here. This is down to the uh, oxygen levels, I'm almost certain. And as you can see, we are pumping quite strongly over this way, but the gases are taking their time to filter their way uh, through the whole system over here. Um, ooh, that sounded good. What was that? That was some research being completed. But yes, the pressure. The pressure is a problem. I think also maybe the actual gas that we're using is a problem. There's some chlorine there, and that they don't like that, it turns out. Okay, I'm making what I would consider to be a very short-sighted play in some sort of man, uh, some sort of hope, sorry, that we get this all sorted and no longer have like a chlorine issues over here. So I have put down a line of power, I've put down a pump, and I've put down a gas vent on the other side of the door here. There's 400 grams of natural gas outside, and we're currently surrounded by about 400, 500 grams of that. But you can see that the oxygen is slowly starting to build, and thank you, it's uh, saying a very small number right now, but we will be getting around to doing so maybe it's time to put that uh deoxygenator back but uh yeah we'll, we'll wait and see we'll wait and see as almost always seems to be the case in these scenarios we've got the back gas line and down but we're waiting for the output to actually get finished here and it's gonna be very interesting to see if they actually move on straight with that mad frank and misaligned being the pair that are doing this you can see the misaligned literally gets out of here before she has to go and find more oxygen this is what's been happening to a lot of my duplicates they'll get to wherever they're supposed to be going and then they're like oh no i can't handle this uh, which is uh, as i'm sure you can guess not an ideal scenario but okay we've got some gas venting on the go here hopefully now all the chlorine is just going to be gone a little sad to see the carbon dioxide leave to be honest we have a real and serious issue here guys it turns out that no one can actually get to where this pump is down here uh, i was kind of hoping that we'd have some research along the way but forest keeps uh 
Keeps getting wrapped up in the crazy job set. Oh, maybe Luna will be able to make it through. Soggy feet really is not helping here, but hopefully, mate. Oh, did you see how close that was? Did you see how close that was? Do I believe that he's going to get there? No, no, I don't. I think he's going to... Oh, look at this. Yes. Do it. Start building. Ah, oh, there was no building. But, you know, with Luna on the build... No, let's turn that off to there. No, is that not a thing we can do? Normally, we can turn it off onto a nine, and that will get uh, Mad Frank involved. Because Mad Frank is the top builder. He's the guy who's like, I do all the building jobs. Uh, okay, so Forrest... Uh, Mad Frank's on the list, but he's not quite there doing it yet. I might once again hit one of those and see... Um, I mean, Mr. Lion's pretty good at building. Uh, yeah, it, it's all about just getting the people that are here involved. Okay, Miss Lion saying she's suffocating. I'm just going to move her straight up to the bedroom and we'll just hope that she is on that. Uh, I don't know whether she's going to make it or not. I do not know. Maybe we should turn the yellow alert off over here so that people can get their, their lives back on. Yeah, I, I think everybody's going to die. Come on, guys. Come on. Let's also get Mad Frank and Forrest. Everybody runs upstairs. Come all right, all right. Gonna have to tell them individually to do it, aren't we? Okay, let's just hope that this is good enough. I, I'm not sure. I am worried. Okay, let's let this roll through. Uh, Misaligned first, followed by Luna. Mad Frank and Forrest both coming up from the rear hopefully okay luna's found somewhere to breathe um miss align should also okay all right that that's um a pretty serious issue but hopefully one we can work around ah. also getting more food shortage problems well i suppose we've got the micro musher over here if uh, things become that bad uh, also, new principle. Let's have a look. What have we got? Hopefully some food. I'll take the barbecue. Beautiful. Thank you. Uh, also, we want to kind of sort out what's going on with the research. Now, this is because this is not on a high enough priority. Go, Forrest. Go. I'm sure you've got it. Mm, once again, Mr. Lion having trouble in this corner of the of the rock, just just down here. I don't, I'm not sure what we can do about this. I've set up a little dig to uh, to empty out this space here. I'm assuming she just didn't know how to get up and in that area. Mad Frank, hopefully coming on. I've put down a couple of tiles here in some sort of vain effort to contain everything into this hole here, and then make, wait, wait, where where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? You're just kind of running away. All right, fair enough. Whatever. Okay, we're taking a calmer view to Cycle 68. We've uh, stopped everyone panicking about the, uh, the the waste products down here. We're just using the, the power supply to try and push through the various bits of research, etc., that we want to work our way towards. Of course, the thing we are really working towards is the Exoshoot exo Forge, so that we can like, get out here and build stuff. Oh, there we go. Digging through the hole definitely helped out here. Obviously, this means that we're just going to run out of oxygen here soon enough. Maybe what I want to do is pop down a little bit of a ladder up there. Oh, look, carpet tile. Beautiful. Okay, are they going to cause themselves a mischief? Well, no, Misalign and Mad Frank have both found little bits of oxygen that are just floating around. Doesn't really look like they've done much for them, though, to be honest. They are taking in anything that's going on. Starvation? No, I disagree. Misalign is saying that she is, like, super hungry, but generally doing all right. I can't believe that she's, like, fine with the amount of stress. She's, like, chipper, which is obviously the difficulty going down. But there's only 10 per cycle. The high morale that I've got going is pretty good. Soggy feet is not a problem, though. Uh, yeah, I mean, I really thought there would be more issues. The fact that she's, like, constantly being told to suffocate herself for the greater good, I thought that would be an issue somewhere along the line. Oh, great. Now, the Cypher's suffocating. Let's give him one last chance to figure it out before I just take control. No, no, he's all right. Let's go all the way up here, buddy. I don't even know what oxygen they, these guys thought they found. Look at all this carbon dioxide down here. There's not even a gradient. It's just solid all the way to the chlorine. Look at that. No oxygen should have existed down here at all. All right, Mad Frank and Decipher coming fresh from the base to try and deliver stuff down into the little hellhole here. All right, one of them made it for a little bit. The smallest amount of time. And now he's got to run away before he suffocates. Okay, hopefully up here will be good enough for Mad Frank to come back and have another pop at this. It's, it's really quite a thing. Go on, down, down. Just... I, I, I disagree that there's anything wet down there, buddy. I disagree most strongly. What liquid pipe are you going to go build? Oh, okay. So you still... I mean, I, I don't know why you can't just construct this, buddy, because that that is, like, the most important thing. When he gets down here and does his delivery, I think maybe, just maybe, we'll go nuts with the, uh, the power here. 
Come on, build it, 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 build it. Oh yeah! Ah, so close, so close. All right, let's put that back down to nine, and I'm just gonna carry on doing that. Oh, wait, she didn't even go get down here. Oh, oh, can I finish it off? Keep it. No, no. Ninety-nine. Okay, Mrs. Glyne coming along with a top error. And let's see if she can get down there. I'm not sure if she's the one with uh, Diver's Breath. No, she can hold her breath pretty well. And hopefully, finally... Oh, th there we go. That's the liquid pump done, at least. So I noticed the sc carbon skimmer has been missing its errand for a very long time. So I'm going to come through and put another one back in. Just, just to be certain, you know? Okay, let's use our knowledge of game mechanics to make this a little bit better. At the moment, we are pumping out a mixture of natural gas and and carbon dioxide. We kind of want the carbon dioxide to stay here for the oxyfern. So I am going to deconstruct this and build a new one, a uh, new gas pump up there, uh, a little bit higher than the floor, so that all the carbon dioxide can swim down and be there. Yeah, carbon dioxide swims, you know that. Uh, another thing I want to do is get some heavy watt wire out and do uh, one of those. And I'm thinking maybe I do want to do a natural gas filter here. The reason that I'm thinking about that is we could just pump the natural gas down this way, or maybe actually we will extend the pipe out here and if it is natural gas we will take yeah 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 just just like this just like this now we just need to wait for the duplicates but it's the end of the day so let's move on and what a day it is nice you know what watching these guys in the toilets you might be wondering why i haven't destroyed one of these and replaced it with a sink and you know what i'm wondering that as well Okay, that's a better placement. We're still getting some carbon dioxide in there, but that's fine. We will deal with that as we can. And unfortunately, we still can't see the overlay here to see exactly what's going on. I hope that that's something that they open up again in, like, higher tier levels or something like that, but I, I kind of feel like it won't be. Just going to use the cipher here for an experiment. I've got this bit of bleach stone in there and in this airlock here, and I've been trying desperately to get someone to pick it up. But turns out people have not. I've been trying to put it in here, Bleachstone 9, uh, but people just can't seem to make their way in here. Okay, so once he's in there, let's try and find the Bleachstone. And now I'm going to make this the highest priority possible. Still a no. This door is accessible, right? Yeah, so why can people not get to there? Storing materials, Lunar Clock number 9. Let's, let's do that as well and see if that helps. Should everybody be on it? Okay, everybody on So was it the case that the sweep didn't actually do what we thought it did i don't know i don't know but now i can press that and hopefully this is now pulling a perfect vacuum and we don't have to worry about this gumming up the whole material here because this is what's been going on as you can see that every time we pump oxygen we've got to wait for a bit of chlorine to go past uh, and hopefully this is now going to pull a perfect vacuum and we don't have to worry about that ever again and perfect vacuum perfect so let's have a look over here and again wow that's it perfect we've got the uh, got the oxygen flowing perfectly again this was really actually messing us up quite badly it was uh, more than like halving the output you can see how big the gaps were between these uh, and still something's going on. I think this is where people are building pipage down here. Yeah, look at this beautiful. People are slowly but surely hooking this up to the system. Oh, we earned an achievement. When did that happen? Let's press it and see what, what it was. Beedy bam, it's not raw. Have a duplicate eat any cooked or prepared meal at a electric gill or a grill or gas range. Electric gills, wouldn't that be great? Uh, I don't know what got made, but something got made. It must have been an omelette or a bit of barbecue or something. We've got some barbecue down here. I can see it definitely being that. New day and new principal. Really, we're after just a chef or a doctor, ideally both. Uh, no, we don't have over any of those. That's a little bit of a shame. I'm going to get the sandstone because we're a little bit short of sandstone. We didn't start in a sandstone biome, so it'll be nice. That, that said, do we do we have lots of sandstone around somewhere? Like, was that this? No, it's just sand. Okay, that's that's fine. That'll be cool. Uh, right, so I've been watching this, and I'm worried that at some point we're going to end up with the oxygen filtering down and being picked up by uh, this little sucky device here. Uh, also, really waiting for people to come along and destroy that gas vent, but I'm not sure what we're going to do about this. Uh, we really, really need to get this food sorted. The, the food in situation is a pretty big one, if I'm to be honest with you. Uh, maybe we need to build a new farm somewhere else. That might be a key, but that's going to have to be next time because, man, we're already running out of time in this episode. Well, the hatcher complaining about being cramped. You know what this means. 
let's do it. I think a misaligned is going to be the person who comes along and performs this deed. Uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen. Maybe we need to set up another electric grill to be cooked there. Yeah, is she, uh, she, she is listed as attacking. Let's wait and see where she gets that. Oh, of course, got to wave a uh, friend first. We, we, could, we could be in serious trouble with the colony. I might be like, hey, we're being invaded. And she's like, yeah, let's say hi. But no, no, she's just like... And the fighting be does it? I thought, I thought she was going to run away for some oxygen there or something. But the fighting begins. Yes, indeed. I don't know if we want to keep actually the sage hatch or not. I don't know what would be more appropriate. Uh, but I'm going to I'm going to go with the normal ones because those are the ones that I uh, I know how to deal with basically. Uh, I should really look them up and see if they produce anything special. I, I know that they only produce coal, but do they do it in greater amounts? I just don't know. Wow, misaligned instantly taking the body of her enemies for a meal. Wow. Just, just I, I'm a little shocked by that. Okay, we've got a real problem here. We've only got a thousand foods left. I think we're going to come up here and start building. I mean, like, we could just build it straight here for a panic mode. Yeah, let's, let's do it. Panic mode. Let's do it. I'm going to go with... Ah, oh, the micro mush. That might be a winner. Look, here we go. Mush, mush bar. Do it. Mm-mm. Wait, I need to give someone some cooking priority. Let's go with forest. Yeah, it's just as important as research. Honest. I mean, to be fair, it is. Can't do research if you're dead from starving. Okay, so we've hooked up a whole bunch of gas pipes here to send the natural gas into the burning system over here so that we can slowly filter out all the stuff that is trapped in our base. One of the great side effects of this, though, is you can see that we're getting little bits of oxygen, which seems like a bad idea until you realise that it's actually getting vented out into here and we're getting little zones where it's actually breathable out here so people can go around and do the jobs they need to do. I now need to put this back onto auto because they couldn't reach this tile here. It's tempting to put another one of these pumps like right here so we can start emptying out all the rest of the natural gas. But with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. We've had uh, quite a struggle today trying to make sure we could get everything up and running. And still, we have got food shortages on the horizon. You'll have to join me next time to see how we do with that. The microbe musher is up and running, but will we be able to get someone to actually do the work? Who knows? Well, I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.